Apparently it's late. <laughs> Welcome back into the Rowdy Studio. I'm Stephen Levine sitting alongside Tom Vandebord. The expert. I'm the expert. Well, then what am I? Just the host. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the oracle at Delphi. Yeah, the oracle that's always wrong. We're, you were uh, wrong, by the way, about Denny Hamlin, and I need you to look into that camera right now wait a minute. and apologize. You didn't pick him either. I said not to panic. Look into that I camera. I didn't panic. Apologize. I don't think I panicked. Apologize to the whole team at Joe Gibbs Racing. Go on. Joe Gibbs Racing loves me. Apologize. But they may not. He's sorry. After we're finished with today's video. Okay. Because we're heading to Richmond, and it's kind of, you know, a welcome relief after two downforce tracks in a row to head to a track like Richmond but there are guys that might be feeling the pressure a little bit and that really need to perform well here. I wrote down three names. Okay. How many names did you write down? None. You didn't write down anything? Don't write things down. You did. I saw you with your little clipboard. That was just notes. But So you do write things down. I write down notes, but... <laughs> okay. Well, you. I've got three names. How many do you have? I've got a bunch of names on that list. Well, just mention one. Okay. But uh, this is like pulling teeth with you today. I think Kyle Busch needs to have a good weekend. So do I. I think he's building some momentum. I wrote his name down. Very nice. He's building some momentum. He's certainly not out of the picture. But this is, I think this is Kyle's best track. I really do. Just uh, the consistency over the years always seems to run in the top five. Has one here. You know, this is a place where Kyle Busch should be competing for a win. He hasn't looked like the Kyle Busch we're used to seeing this year so far. Certainly not in any panic mode, Buzz Cutler. Well, not yet, but he is 13th in the points yeah. and we're a quarter way through the season. And I would say if it's time, right? If it's Richmond time. isn't his best track, then Bristol is. He didn't compete for the win at Bristol. He needs to I, at I Richmond, so. a track where he's won three of the last six. And during that six year span, and, you know, with the position he's in now, he could come back to this track in that kind of bubble area. It's not out of the question. So you want to have a good run here. You want to feel good about this track when you get back here for race 26. Right. I agree with you. Okay. Another name I wrote down, which may surprise you a little bit, is Tony Stewart. That, that, I didn't write that down. Well, here's why. I know he's won two races this season. He's in. He's in. He's but, got two wins. He's, he's Right. Fine. But since he won the second of those two races, he has not led a lap and he has had two very disappointing weekends in a row. Now, a track where he's pretty good, although his wins came early in his career, yeah. he has he a likes chance it, to get a little bit of his mojo back, and I think it's important for him to do that after the past two weekends at, at, at really disappointing performances well, for him. I, I, I think you've got some good points there. I just don't think this particular weekend is is as important to Smoke as it is to some of these other guys. I agree with everything you said. He seems to have lost his way a little bit on the downforce tracks, but he's still in prime position. He's still got two wins, and so there's a lot of races coming up where he can kind of regain his momentum, and this is certainly a good place for him to do that. All right. How about a Brad Keselowski? How about a Brad Keselowski? Is he on your list? He's not. I mean, you know, he's won a race, so he's got to feel good, but Penske overall just hasn't been the team that I think we thought we'd see. And Brad Keselowski, I think, needs to have a good weekend. Uh, I think, you know, like you said, Brad Keselowski has won a race. I don't necessarily think of Richmond as a Brad Keselowski track, although, of course, he likes Bristol now. And, and you can see some similarities right. between Bristol and Richmond. So uh, I, that's why he wasn't on my list, just because I don't think of it as a track where Brad Keselowski is going to go out there necessarily and compete for wins. 15th in the points right now. Yeah. And I think we would have expected a little more. Here's who I have on my list okay. that we haven't mentioned is Clint Boyer. That's a good pick. Yep. The, you know, this is a good track for Clint Boyer. He has one here. And listen First to this. First cup win right here, listen right? To I thought, no, no New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. He ran here and very well here the race before he won at New Hampshire. But Clint Boyer has only led a total of five laps this season. So he really needs to show that he's capable of running the way his teammate Martin Jurex Jr. has been running. And Richmond is a good place for him to, to grab that bull by the horns mm -hmm. because it is a Clint Boyer style track. So I want to see a strong performance, some laps led, and perhaps running up front competing for the win from Clint Boyer this weekend. How about a Ryan Newman? That okay. Ryan Newman has been very good at this track, has won at this track, and I feel like Smoke... And Ryan, together, are they slipping a little bit? Ryan doesn't have the wins that Tony Stewart has. So I feel like this is a pretty important weekend for but Ryan. But he does have one win. He does have one win. At Martinsville, uh, which right. is just weird. That, that was just weird. Ryan Newman. Now, there are guys that we expect to be good here that we don't necessarily think have the same kind of pressure on them. Denny took a lot of pressure off Denny, himself with a win last Junior, week. Denny, Jr., you right. know. So, so this is not, don't confuse this list with list of guys we think our favorites going into the weekend. This is a list of guys that we think really need to show some speed at Richmond. Thanks for clarifying. Well, I just want to make sure that, you know, we're not 
putting all sorts of obfuscation out there. Well, I'm, I'm glad you did that. All right. For Tom Vandervoort, I'm Stephen Levine. Thanks for watching.